Yo, yo, what up, y'all? Let's jump into the new update that just came out today. Um, it appears that they have nerfed Mr. Hard Frostwalker, so um, I guess anybody who was having issues with this fight, you know, obviously there was people that, I guess, must have been complaining that it was hard. Um, well, looks like you guys have got that nerf that you were looking for, so we're going to go in here. We're going to test him out. We'll see how weak or how strong he is now. So according to the patch notes, each part that you destroy on him now is going to drop two fires or embers instead of just the one. So there should be way more ember on the ground. And then they also increase the, um, the threshold for the frenzy or them going in rage. So he should go in rage like less amount of times. Well, I guess that's all, all hard bosses now go in rage a lesser amount of times, which makes them easier. And then the third main thing was whenever he is in that frenzy mode and he's running around, you got to shoot the kneecaps and it's like literally impossible to shoot him. Now, apparently, if you bring a shotgun and you hit it with slug shots, he can actually slow down. So it should make it a lot easier for you to kill him. Now, me personally, I never really thought this boss was hard in the first place. It's really just a matter of one person, you know, grabbing the flames. Everybody kind of knowing the fight, knowing when he's going to enrage, knowing when he's going to do his freeze ability. Um, so yeah, honestly, it feels like health-wise, he kind of feels like weaker to me. Like obviously people are still going to be going down, you know, people are just going to be dying left and right. But in my case, he definitely felt way weaker. You know, I wasn't getting one-shotted. I wasn't really running around super low the entire time. And then I tested out the shotgun method here hit him with a couple slug shots and then shoot at the legs. I mean, it kind of feels like he's moving slower, but I can't really tell to be honest. But yeah, I mean, honestly, it does actually look like he's moving a lot slower. You know, he's not just uh, pretty much sprinting around everywhere. So yeah, I think the shotgun method works. So if you guys are still trying to kill a hard frost walker or you guys need to grind him, I would say bring in a shotgun, hit him with a couple of those old slug shots, and then it appears that he does move slower because you know in the previous frost walker um i'll post a video or i'll put a card here on top of the video so if you guys want to see how the frost walker looked before you guys can check out my guide there but yeah in the previous frost walker he's literally sprinting around running around you don't even know which direction to look it's like literally impossible to get to the kneecaps and stuff so yeah he definitely feels way weaker to me seems like he's taking way more damage and he's not moving around like at light speed like a super spider so i definitely think it's a lot weaker down in the comments let me know if you guys have tried the hard frost walker the new version i personally think he was easy before and he's even easier now so yeah um if you guys don't really know how to win this fight you know, obviously, in the beginning, you always want to make sure that there's a designated flame guy. I'm usually always the designated flame guy, so that way we don't just instantly lose the mission. And then, as you guys are killing parts, he's going to drop out embers. Now, at around about 745-ish, 750, that's when I go and collect the fire. Once you collect six fires, it's going to spawn a flame shield. And then, as you can see there, once he does the... The game ending freeze attack you just pick up six of those you get yourself a flame shield and then you go and thaw everybody out so it's actually a pretty simple fight now um one other thing too with the fight make sure you bring in flame weapons you know i'm just using whatever i had equipped before the fight like i didn't even switch out my weapons i didn't switch out my gear or anything so i'm just using like a flame tamer with a secret guardian but yeah, I would definitely try to bring out your best flame weapons. This is what he's weak against. It'll make it super easy. And then also, too, I didn't even change around my gear and put on any chill resistance. So I think right now I have like 11 chill resistance, like something not good at all. And as you can see, he's not doing as much damage as he was before. So I definitely think they must have scaled down his damage also. If you guys are reading the patch notes... It doesn't say anything about um, like scaling down his damage or him doing any less damage, but it seems as though that's like a um, kind of like a hidden thing in there or like a you know like a silent patch because he's definitely not doing as much damage as he was before. You know, in that old Frost Walker, 
you take a couple hits, you're you're one shot. You know what I mean? He's one shot in you, two shot in you. Now, well, what I will do is I will go through this Lepic build so you guys can kind of see a good build on how to use it. I think Lepic is probably the best character to use to fight the Frostwalker because he literally does flame. That's what the Frostwalker's weak against. So, you know, you have yourself a handful of Lepics, two, three Lepics. You guys are literally clapping this boss, no problem. Now, well, this is the build I was using. Now, I am using explosive stacks here. Um, to be honest, this is my farming build that I typically do when I go out and get like polymer or I'm just like killing void reactors. Now, what I'm also going to do as a side note, I'm going to go fight a couple of the uh, void reactor bosses because apparently they actually lowered the HP of them as well. And also now too, once you killed void reactor bosses, it drops like um, ammo, MP, stuff like that. But anyways, this is the build that I was using to kill Frostwalker. This is the build I pretty much use for everything. It's a low cost build. All I have on it is a energy activator. Everything else, like as far as crystals, that's what actually comes with the build. Now, um, the explosive stacks is really good because on that part where you have to shoot his kneecaps, you can actually just throw out those, you know, grenade bombs that he has. And it should make it a lot easier for you to destroy those parts. But like I was saying, um, with the new patch, if you bring in a shotgun with slug shots and you shoot him in the legs it actually slows him down so as you've seen in that clip you know i would pull out the shotgun shoot a couple slug shots slow him down then pull out your main weapon start shooting at the weak points again and it definitely you know now that i think about it, it actually did make a huge difference like he wasn't completely running around sprinting around the whole time while he was frenzied so i definitely feel like it did make a difference again down in the comments let me know if you guys have tried him what you guys think Again, I personally thought he was easy before. He is super easy now, you know. So if you guys need to grind any parts on the old Frostwalker, I definitely think now is the best time. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to go into one of the Void Reactor bosses, and we're going to see how little HP they have now. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, anybody who's grinded this boss, you know this dude is a straight menace. This, like, assassination clone neck bat. So this is after the update. As you can see, um, he's literally getting melted now. <laughs> so they definitely lowered the HP on these bosses. To be honest, this is one of the most annoyingly strong bosses. You know, a lot of the times when you're fighting this guy, you see people kiting him all the way outside, all the way back to where you guys spawn at. And uh, he definitely seems pretty weak to me now, so... Again, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Go out, grind those frost walkers. Go out, grind those void reactor bosses. There's definitely more stuff in the patch notes. You know, if you guys haven't seen the patch notes, I would definitely go read up on that. Um, a lot of the other stuff was like, you know, UI, stuff with the battle pass. I think Luna got some stuff added to her. But yeah, the main things was the frost walker nerf. And then I personally think these void reactor boss nerfs. So yeah. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that sub button. We're going to have way more first descending videos. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out the vid, and I'll see you on that next one. Peace.